President Julianne S. Blewett Foster, a champion for equity and inclusion. Julianne Blewett understood the bigotry of low expectations, and she was determined not to let anything hold her back. As a child, she charted a path that led her to the heights of professional achievement, and along the way, she secured a place for others to do the same. She was a champion for equity and inclusion long before the benefits of a diverse workforce were largely known. While I think she would be disappointed in the slow pace of the diversification of the dental workforce community, she would be pleased with the efforts of her colleagues who worked tirelessly to seek ways to advance the initiative and create opportunities for those who have endured all forms of prejudice. She was masterful at creating opportunities for others. Julianne Stephanie Blewett was born on June 14, 1938, the only child of Marion Eugenia Hughes, a first grade teacher, and Stephen Bernard Blewett Jr., a government payroll clerk. Growing up in segregated Washington, she attended a private school through the fourth grade, then switched to public schools, graduating from high school before enrolling at Howard. Along the way, she took lessons in art, drama, piano, and ballet. She earned her bachelor's degree at Howard University in zoology and decided to pursue dentistry there so that she could remain close to home. After earning her dental degree, she taught at Howard's College of Dentistry for a year before moving to Chicago. Dr. Blewett went to dental school at a time when fewer than 2% of the students were women, and the number of women of color in professional school was appallingly low. Dr. Blewett Foster made it her goal to change that. She would become a leader in the field, mentoring students and using her own career path as an example of what they could achieve. First, as a director of the Dental Hygiene Department at Northwestern University's Dental School in 1967, then as Assistant Dean, Associate Dean of Admissions, and Associate Dean of Student Affairs. As mentioned previously, women did not enter dentistry in appreciable numbers until the 1970s and have only recently outnumbered men in dental schools. It was not until 1967 that the American College of Dentists began welcoming women and minorities into fellowship. Notably, Dr. Jean Sinkford was inducted that year, followed by former ACD president Julianne Blewett Foster in 1974 and Dr. Cecilia Dowes in 1985. In 1994, Dr. Foster served with distinction as the first female president of the American College of Dentists and over the course of the next three decades, she continued to advocate audaciously for ethics and professionalism in healthcare. Her tenure as president was characterized by meticulous preparations for the 75th anniversary of the founding of the college and her intense desire to enhance the myriad missions of the college. Dr. Julianne Blewett Foster was an amazingly accomplished professional. She dedicated her adult life to the education of others in the dental profession, said Chicago Dental Society President Cheryl Watson Lorry the society's second female African-American president in an obituary published in the CDS Review. As the first female and African-American female president of the Chicago Dental Society, Julianne Blewett inspired me and countless others to pursue our dreams without limitation. She not only served as a role model to so many of us, but was also a pioneer in multiple arenas. Dr. Blewett Foster was elected as the first female president of the Chicago Dental Society in 1992. She guided its 127th annual convention to a move 
into a major convention center in Chicago, McCormick Place. This catapulted the meeting attendance of dental personnel to over 23,000 from the U.S., Canada, and several countries of the world. Dr. Blewett Foster's well-known expertise and myriad experiences led many national organizations to pursue her participation and her guidance. She served on the National Advisory Council for Health Manpower Legislation, on the Federal Drug Administration Committee, and the Advisory Council to the Director of the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland, and as a member of the American Dental Association's Council on Ethics, Bylaws, and Judicial Affairs. As a committee member for a number of years in each of these capacities, she was known for her outspokenness and diligence. Her proudest accomplishments were serving on the committees which authorized mapping of the human genome and the investigative study for this newly emergent disease, Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, or AIDS. Dr. Blewett Foster died at her home on Hilton Head Island. Her commitment to the college continues through a generous gift from her estate. Dr. Blewett Foster's philanthropy was widely known, and her legacy lives on through the establishment of the Dr. Julianne Blewett Foster and the Dr. Roscoe Foster Fund for Emerging Leaders.